Okay, so we've maxed out the car on pump gas. Right now we're not limited to about 840 wheel horsepower. Turbos are maxed out, air fuel ratio is spot on. There is no other way that we can make more power. So in comes flex fuel. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna drain the fuel tanks and we're gonna fill the car with E85. E85 is 85% ethanol. Ethanol is a very high octane fuel, about 106, 108 octane, depending on how it's being measured. Because of the higher octane rating of flex fuel, we're able to run more ignition timing, and also if it was an option, we could have run more boost, but that's not available because the turbochargers are maxed out. We can lean out the air fuel ratio, we can make more power. So we're gonna swap the fuel, put some E85 in, and see how she does. Alright, so to recap, we took the car from a maxed out 93 octane tune where there was no more power to be had, put 10 gallons of E85 in the tank, ended up with E70, 70% 70 ethanol. Uh, I was able to lean out the air fuel ratio to about 12, 12, 2 to 1 and add 10 degrees of ignition timing, ending up at 27 degrees at redline, which is where these cars like to run anyway. From the ignition timing addition, and from leaning out the air fuel ratio, the car picked up exactly 100 wheel horsepower. It had a lot more torque to go. I intentionally lowered the torque because I'm still on the factory gear set and I don't want to break anything. But we're looking at 925 wheel horsepower and uh, 780 wheel torque. Should be a lot of fun, very fast street car and also very safe because it's running E85 so we don't have to worry too much about knocking. So I'm really excited to go out and drive it, but first I think we're going to do a little bit of uh, investigation in the engine bay and see if maybe there's anything else we can change in there to make more power.